real people with stories of illness, injury, or lived experiences that have shaped the way that they have formed a relationship with their own body. People want to be seen in the fullness of their humanity, which has brought me to question, how can I use art to foster human connection, familiarize the narrative around the body, illness, and injury, especially as a future physician who will be treating people and confronting these issues on the daily. This project has allowed me to use my paintbrush as a scalpel, paradoxically dissecting through the additive means of painting. This is the body as canvas, where the anatomical and symbolic aspects of being a human coalesce into a transient experience of body painting. My name is Savannah Mohasi. I'm a pre-med and an artist, and I wanted to find a meaningful way to engage in clinical practice while still engaging with my passion for art. I utilized the platform of body painting because I felt that it encapsulated this clinical intimacy that allowed people to be vulnerable in sharing their narratives. And the visual imagery allows the body to speak in ways that words cannot. There is so much behind the scenes work that goes into making each and every body paint. And I wanted to give an overview of exactly each step that I did in order to give you insight into how this echoes the patient doctor relationship. I'd start off with an interview asking them questions about their lived experiences in their body. Then from that, I proceeded to plan in designing the artwork. I then went and had the body painting session. After that, I took photographs to document that transient experience because it will be washed off immediately after. And finally, there's a moment of reflection for both the model and myself uh, in understanding that each and every person walks with a story that a lot of people may not know about. So let's dive in and let me show you more of my process. Anything pertaining to the human body, it's essential that consent is obtained. In a healthcare setting, that's in the form of informed consent. So I created this document that I gave to my models before I ever painted on them. First and foremost, I wanted them to know that anatomical imagery would be used, that the session could last to four hours and they could have a break, that a water-soluble paint would be used on them, that they would be photographed and that use of the photographs would be utilized by the artist, that they are allowed to be anonymous, that their interview would be confidential and that different parts are up to them if they want to be shared. And finally, that the audio of the interview would be recorded. The interview was the most important part of this project because it allows me to ask them questions about a part of their body that is the most significant to them. And through those experiences that they've had, discussing the emotions, the pain, the symptoms that have really highlighted the way that they have formed a relationship with their body. This allows me to uncover any symbolism or metaphors that I can incorporate into the piece in a way that doctors acquire symptoms and different parts that the person is experiencing to help diagnose the patient. This experience is extraordinarily intimate and it really gives me insight into how I can create the body painting piece. The next step is planning, where it gives me time to listen back to the audio and think about what aspects I want to bring to life onto their skin. I sketch them out and reference anatomical imagery through textbooks and also having taken an anatomy class and incorporate a cohesive illustration, which I then show to the model before I paint on them. Once the model agrees, the painting commences. So here's a little bit of prep before I start painting. Here are my body paints, which are water soluble and non-toxic, so they do not irritate the skin. I have a ton of brushes to allow different textures and different levels of detail. I use an eyeliner pencil to create my sketch beforehand and eyeshadow to create depth and dimension in different colors of the body paint. And finally, a spritzer, which allows so much more ease in wetting the paints so that I could use them and allow them to glide on the skin as they're activated by water sessions require a lot of endurance on both the model's part and my own. As I've said before, the session can last up to four hours and it only gives me a short window into creating these designs on their skin. I utilize the clinical skill of palpation to allow me to touch and feel their underlying anatomy so that I can map it directly onto their skin to make it seem realistic and for them to see it in a more natural way. There's a lot of pressure in the moment of body painting because there is the other person present. Their story is on the line and in the same way, the physician has the other person that they're caring for and that it is in, under their complete control in the direction that it goes. And in doing so, I have to be quick on my feet. I have sometimes the direction of the body paint pivots depending on the anatomy and the vision that I had and through the conversations that I'm having with the person in that moment. So 
it's really important for me to have quick decision making and to really stay strong during these long sessions because I can't step away from it. This is the final piece. I just want to take a moment to appreciate this person's anatomy and their story that has come to life through this body painting. By no means does this equate to the challenges of what it means to be a physician, nor does it reflect exactly how physicians treat patients, but it is more of a meditation for me to understand human connection and build empathy and to feel a close connection with someone as they develop trust in me to share their story. I had this idea a year ago and I can't believe that it's finally culminated into this final body painting project and I want to thank all of my mentors and all the people who volunteered their time to allow me to paint on them. I will cherish this as I move on and graduate from Stanford in the pursuit to a path in medicine and I hope that my creativity comes in and shines throughout that path and that I can utilize these skills one day.